up? Hello, happy Sunday. We made it to Sunday. Here we are. We did it. Hi. We did. That's right. I love it when we celebrate the little things, you know? We celebrate the little things like making it to Sunday, taking a got. little time out of each other's schedules to have some good chats. It's, it's, Hang out it's with it's the fun. homies. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Except we uh, still got to plan when we're actually going to do this in person. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, we'll figure it'll it out. happen eventually. We uh, will until then. get there. Yep, and we'll revisit in another six months. And then when we do, yeah. we will promote the hell out of it. And you'll be like, oh my god, will they please stop talking about it? And we'll be like, <laughs> well, no. I just, I just yeah. want to see you guys. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I want to see you guys too. Of course. Of it's course. It's just tough, it's, you know? Yeah. Uh, this got weird because I was just joking. <laughs> Life got oh. real <laughs> tough. Right? Uh, so it, it looks to me it, in Denver, it's sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Bit of a nipply, but also. Really? It's just kind of cold in our room. Describe also. it to me because it's blazing hot outside. How hot is it there, Jess? I mean, it was still it's like. 80. So like what seventies today? Yeah, I mean it's no. still warm, but like I just wanted to be cozy today because got a bit of a nip. We oh. had a, oh. a record-breaking high today of eighty-six. Nice. Wow! Damn. And that's our weather talk, guys. Um, <laughs> so well, it's just because I don't know. I was really hoping that you know the you guys were in the fall weather mood because it's still summer here in savannah and yeah. i just r- truly miss the changing of the colors and you guys the don't sweater get, weather. it doesn't change there that. at all mm, like just barely leaves anything no yeah it's nice being in colorado we get a lot of colors so yeah, that's cool we just uh, miss that we went on a mm. little drive the other day and we were like we're gonna have to get to the mountain soon so that way we can see all the. Do uh, did uh, any of you put up your Halloween decorations? If we you say no, Halloween I don't want to know you. You don't have any Halloween decorations. We literally don't have any. Go to the dollar store no, and do yourself that's a favor. Not true. We have a very cute little kitchen hand towel, and it says oh. "trick or treat," and <laughs> it's cute and it's orange. Okay, and. We that haven't counts. got it out yet. We haven't got it out, but it is decoration. Okay, I approve. Oh, so it's not out? And it doesn't count. I have a little pumpkin dog stuffed animal. He's in a little Is it out? Oh. It's always out year round because that's how much I love the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> My two things out year round, okay? Well, then that doesn't really count. That's, it uh, counts. That's just regular season. We don't decor. Keep, we don't keep it's the, the same as green underwear on St. Patrick's Day, it counts. It's fair. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it does count because it is green. But having Halloween decorations out all year. Oh, so Christmas the... decorations out all year is is not Christmas now? No, it doesn't no. count. Because you just forgot to take them down from last year. That's not, that's just resourceful if you ask me. No, that's Look, we have our kind of tacky. I have stuff that I have out year round that's Halloween ish, (laughs) but I did decorate to it. But they're not your Halloween decorations. Just your life size Edward Scissorhands sex doll does not. (laughs) (laughs) Just real. That doesn't seem comfortable. (laughs) That movie, I wouldn't it be fun? You don't like like the movie? Don't you like the risk? It's part of the appeal. Don't I don't like, like I don't like the movie because it is so sad. Like it is oh. the saddest movie I could possibly think of. What? what? It's the too much feel. Did of. you ever see The Perfect Storm? Okay. Have you ever seen Record uh-uh. for a Dream? Sad. I did. I've seen that movie. It was ter- I just the one time. Thank you. Did you ever watch <laughs> any? Did you watch any Pixar movie ever? Oh my God! Up. I can't even um, sit. I can't even sit and watch it. I, I the have to Lion watch King. I just think Edward Scissorhands is, is just sad because he gets bullied. No one understands him. They just want to use him, and he doesn't understand himself. He doesn't understand his place in the world, and it's just 
really sad because it's just filled with reject rejection and i i mean uh, it's just so sad and abandonment like oh uh, it's terrible like why do people like that movie it's so sad jess ah he's a little freak i was yes exactly he's a little freak and everyone makes fun of him for it no all the ladies love him they're like cut my hair I was emo as fuck. Mm. Of course I understood Edward Scissorhands. I felt like I no, but no one, had no scissor hands. Tell. I had scissor hands too, <laughs> dude. I walk around my house just snipping. Snipping. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's just such a sad movie and I can't handle it and I just I really can't huh. handle it. But the colors? Come on. Yes. Yeah. So that good. part is revolutionary. Um, it's like Wes Anderson before Wes Anderson. Or just Tim Burton, but yes. No, like, I see what she's saying. Like, the framing of it and the way that he does certain things. Like, I could see how Wes Anderson could maybe take from that. I see okay. What could be an influence. Here we are. I we try to avoid it. Wes Anderson as much as possible. Why? I hate his movies. You're fucking awful. You don't Why? like Edward Scissorhands like and you don't like Wes Anderson movies? All right, movies? you have to explain yourself. I don't like Wes Anderson movies because they're so annoying. How? Annoying? Just absolutely annoying. I don't like the transitions. I don't like the... <sighs> I don't like the characters. I just don't like anything about have it. Have you ever it's seen so The Grand stupid. Budapest Hotel? No. It is, in my opinion, his best work. And... I like very, the very Royal Tenenbaums. Story. That's like but... the most fucking Wes Anderson <laughs> movie you could pick. I know, but like, his what was his latest movie? Like, uh, I can't remember. Everybody said his latest one wasn't that good, good to be honest. Um, well, it was just, I tried Atomic so City hard to like, like it. Yeah. yeah. No, not Asteroid City, the one right Asteroid before that. City. Oh. Moonrise Kingdom? No. no. Moonrise no, Kingdom was forever. After ago. that. Moonrise Kingdom was before Grand Budapest. Oh, the so. French Dispatch. Yeah, yes, the that's French it. French French that French movie Dispatch. made me want to end my relationship with Wes Anderson. <laughs> I don't did we watch it? I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. It. I don't know if I've seen it. I don't it was so. boring AF. Like all of his stuff. No, his stuff is not boring. I just feel like it's creative in every aspect of it, which is why I like it. I but... also find it pretentious. I love how meticulous it is. Like, every shot, everything is in the perfect spot, and, like, everything is framed up I get so that. fucking I guess perfectly. it's just overwhelming for me because it's not just, like, every scene can't just be a scene. It's got to be, like, a work of art, everything. And yeah. it just it's stim- overstimulating because I feel uh, like I'm missing. I'm missing. Okay, watch them again <laughs> after a couple zannies. Okay, then see how you feel. <laughs> it was cool at first, but it's kind of like old, right? Yeah. Yes. I knew. I knew Eric was. Good. He was just way too quiet. I'm like, oh, he has. He has an opinion coming. Yeah. Eric's he's the film not guy. Be he gets it. <laughs> Well, everyone in film school loves Wes Anderson. Okay. But mm-hmm. that's why, because he he's, like, so true to the craft of it. Like, to your point, Jess, he does outline every single scene so perfectly, dramatically. Everything's in its perfect place. And to me, that's very impressive. And it's cool to watch. And, like, it's cool to appreciate and, like, see all the little detail to it, you know? I don't know. But... There's nobody else doing anything like it. Like you were saying, though, Tim Burton. Somewhat similar in, like, a more creepier kind Mm -hmm. of... uh, Maybe even weird way, you know? You know what I can say, though, about the both of them? They certainly have their own extremely distinguished styles. Like, you can tell that's Wes Anderson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like... And you can go, oh, that is so Tim Burton. Like, you, yeah. that's, I totally mm-hmm. love that about them. And the same, you know? I mean, you know, Eric, to uh, combat your argument about, well, every film student loves 
Wes Anderson. Well, every film student also loves Tarantino. Well, does that make his movie yeah. bad? Um, n- no. Well, so your point is pointless. Yeah, sit down. <laughs> well, I mean, I was talking about my opinion. So, like, what y- you should be asking me is, what's my opinion on Tarantino? Since... What well, is your opinion on Tarantino? He hates him, too. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Disney is actually <laughs> underrated. We should be watching more Lion King. <laughs> no, I kind of feel the exact same way. I feel like he was cool at first, and now he's just kind of beaten a dead horse. Every single one of his movies is completely different from the other. Are mm-hmm. they, though? Yeah. Are they, though? You can tell, <laughs> like, it's like, on. oh, this is very Tarantino-esque. Like, right. I mean, it still has his style. That's what we were just talking about with... Bert, Tim Burton and Wes Anderson. Mm-hmm. He still has his style for sure. I, I don't. I don't see where he's fallen off. Even once upon a time in Hollywood, I was like, "This is a really good fucking movie." Like, I don't think. I'm not it was saying his, he like I'm not fell saying it was his off. best I'm, movie. I'm saying it's yeah. It's doing the same shit over and over again. Well, he's only that... going to make one more apparently, so he only got to sit through one more if you want to. Well, I haven't even <laughs> sat through the last few. You should. Django you didn't was see fantastic. the Hateful Eight. Hateful I've Eight seen was Django. really good. I've Hateful Eight Hateful was Eight. great. So you've seen the last few. The only one you haven't seen is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I thought he had one before that. No. Did he? Hateful Eight was really good, though. We saw that in theaters. I yeah. saw like the extended theatrical version. Yeah, I think I tried I think to watch the extended. It's like a series, kind of. And I fell asleep. Oh. So I guess I, I haven't seen the Hateful Eight. The 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 writing on it, the script, the dialogue was f- fucking phenomenal. It was like watching a play. I I the thing I loved about it that was so different was that like they were basically stuck in that cabin. Yeah. You know, so it's like that had to be that conversational. You know. Yeah, always, yeah, yeah. You know, That's a good like, otherwise point. it's just this guy takes a drink. You know what I mean? Like he had to have something going on the entire time. Uh, and yeah, it w- it was very conversational and he nailed it as far as the script goes, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. But is yeah. that any different than Reservoir Dogs? Yeah, it's a very different story. Not, I'm not saying story. I'm saying like style wise. Just heavy conversation. All in one room. That's part that's like part of the style though. Yeah. I mean again I mean, yeah, you can look at Wes Anderson and say like his shots specifically, you know it's a Wes Anderson film. I would say with Tarantino, you can kind of tell from the dialogue mm-hmm. more than how it's shot. I guess what I'm saying is I prefer for them to, like, define a style <clears throat> and then experiment, try something completely different, go outside I that see, style. because you want them to have range. Well, yeah. yeah, but I feel like there's something to be said about having a brand. And, like, once you find your brand, you kind of stick to it. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's how you kind of succeed and, like, move further up or whatever you want to call it get more projects whatever do you guys remember the show can you be Shaq? can Shaq you be was wo- beat Shaq. <laughs> and no. i don't know where this is going but i no. like it <laughs> <laughs> all right stay with me. people would challenge Shaq to their like profession whatever i whatever remember they do. yeah yeah mm-hmm. and try to beat Shaq. Shaq i'm a 90s and... kid I, 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 don't <laughs> I don't remember this I'm a song. '90s basketball fan. Basketball. Yeah, basically, Shaq was like, "I'm the greatest in basketball. Let me be the greatest." I'm the greatest in some everywhere other... else. That's why he DJs now. Definitely, oh, so awesome. When you become great at He's something, you gotta everything. You gotta retire it. You gotta give it up. You gotta go somewhere new. You gotta uncharted. And then dominate that. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so what was the point of that? 
because he's saying I get the connection. Okay, he's saying I see what that. He's you it once you master something you should try something else so that you can master that thing and so these artists are continuing down the same art and the same style that they've always done and they should branch out but i don't think that like i think we are now just seeing like the peak of both of them or like we have in the last like five years i'd say because it was like this underground hipster thing, right? Like both Tarantino, Anderson, like it was kind of this like, oh, have you heard about this movie? And like you had to know, like not everyone was in the know about this, right? Like it was this cult thing, this cult following. And now it's become so much in kind of- the Mainstream? Public. Yeah, in the mainstream. And so, because of that it seems like oversaturated and like overhyped and you know some people think overdone are you calling me a hipster right now absolutely <laughs> you don't even have to ask that question sir yes and i mean it's not my fault things get worse when they become mainstream well sure i mean it's like you know Take Can you Yellow think Card, of, for example, Ocean Avenue, great fucking album, album before great album, album after trash. They went pop. They went pop. They did. Got weird. They did. They did. Are you talking about Lights and Sound? That wasn't very poppy. Lights and Sounds was not poppy. No, but popular, okay? Hence pop. Pop on the radio. Ocean Avenue was on the radio. Yeah. It's their biggest hit. Yes, you're right. <laughs> their albums after that, you can argue, were way less popular. Trash. But to back to Eric's no, point. No, shut the no, fuck listen, up. Paper listen. Walls is a great back fucking album. Back to Eric's point, they changed their style, and guess what? They fucking they didn't. suck. They didn't change no. their style. The Ocean Avenue, Avenue, Avenue. <laughs> album, <laughs> album was a distinct style, and they changed that moving forward, and... They didn't, they didn't well, don't you have to? Did. Like, you can't do the same shit every yes, album. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Name That's, one artist okay. that does the Tool. same shit. <laughs> Tool. Literally every song is just the same goddamn riff five million times. And everybody shits their pants over them. I don't understand why people like Tool. It literally yeah, blows my mind. Because you just don't get it, Michael. I guess uh... I don't. Every, every time I try to listen to Tool, I'm like, this is fucking... St-. At first, I'm like, oh, that riff's kind of cool. And then fucking... Are they like a metal jam band? Mm, they're not They're not like new metal-y. So not New metal uh, And every single time, I'm like, okay, yeah, this riff's not bad. And then like three minutes later, I'm like, why are they still playing the mm. same fucking riff i want to put a bullet in my head <laughs> mm. every time i've listened to the tool and everybody's like you got to listen to it when you're on acid and i'm like i don't want to do that <laughs> no that sounds like that. a nightmare thank you yeah it sounds awful do you have so a set pa- playlist for acid or is it just whatever I, I you're feeling typically well vinyls yeah, yeah vinyls are very very good when i'm okay. tripping yeah typically classic rock type things but i do enjoy like edm and shit too like on acid pink floyd that's a guys nice. nice. i got an rjd2 vinyl nice which one dead ringer nice i think it's got I my favorite so song cool. on it ghost rider Oh, Ghost Rider is a great fucking track. Wow, mainstream, is incredible. mainstream song. That's one that everyone knows. <laughs> Do you know that song? Everyone knows that song. No one knows that song. I showed Are that you song. Are kidding me? I sh- showed that song to this old man. <laughs> okay, enough said. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like super geeked about it. He's like, hey, what? What's this song that's playing right now? Like, write it down so I can go and look it up when I get home. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. That's fucking dope. And then he comes back over the week and he's like, just to let you know, 
I was sitting in my pool listening to RJD2 all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what? You Don't you just pool? fucking love that <laughs> feeling where you're like, yeah. Yeah. I turned you on to some awesome music. You're welcome. Right. Uh, and a couple weeks ago, he was asking about the XX. I forgot what's going Oh, were you like, they're okay? The Their early shit was really good. Yeah. I re- their first two albums were really good. Yeah. I think it was early shit. Oh, yeah? Why were you listening to them then? They come on my playlist. Well, oh, fair enough. So it's... <laughs> It's almost that time of year. Spotify wrapped. Coming soon. No, it's done. it comes in December. Come on. That's kind of soon. Will you it's calm down? Sooner I tried. than I not. All this you have too many. What's your prediction? What do you think? What's what do you my think? prediction? Uh, Mine's yeah, always we're... fucked. It's always That's true, fucked. because you, li- you listen to Emancipator Radio every night when we go to sleep. Yep. It's never real. I'm always like, huh? Who even is this sort of thing? I think that I'm going to have a lot more like emo post hardcore type stuff than I typically do. I've been listening to like a lot of like shit like that this year, mm. I feel like. Huh. Uh, I've been listening to You guys like shit, have so. a lot of pride around this. Like everyone loves to share their Spotify. Is that just like listen to it, what I'm listening to? It I yes. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's exactly Wait, pride you mean, because like, I do like, like when I see those on like Instagram stories or something. I'm like, all right, let me fucking find these songs and shit. Oh, songs. cool. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. I do it because I think they're people funny. That I trust. I think like a couple years ago, my top listened to artist was Spice Girls. Nice. So <laughs> it is okay. That is true. It's fun. It's fun seeing your friends and being like, oh, yeah, of course. You know, like, <laughs> it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really, well, really shows I'm very them. much DJ, so, like, when Oh, you've that... been using the DJ a lot? No, like, I pick the music, so uh... um, when I get the results, to me, it's very accurate because it's it's not like I'm just throwing it on and putting it on shuffle and hoping for the best. Like, I'm really picking these songs that I'm listening to. So it's so much fun and it's just really interesting to see like when it comes out because it feels like it's um like you know like a wrap up of my life. It's just <laughs> fun. Like it's like, just so funny. I did that. It yeah, a, exactly. I mean it is a recap because it's like shit, a lot has happened in a year and you're like, oh yeah. right. And it's like, oh man, remember, remember when, when I, I went through that, that folk thing? phase? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Yeah. I I've, I've been doing some like uh kind of country type oh. stuff, like new country, but not like not yeah. like, you know, the big no, like Sierra Farrell and like uh stuff like that which sounds more of like a country western style, not like the fucking bullshit radio hit. Not the bro country. country. Yeah, not any of that shit. It sounds real and yeah. I, I don't like listen it. to it's country cool. music. No, thank you. I don't usually, but for some reason, uh, I, I kind of dig it recently. Mm. But only in that style. Like, I can't do, like, I can't do, like, fucking, you know, Brad Paisley or anything like that. Like, that shit's garbage. I bought <laughs> an Outlaws record a while back. Outlaw. What does that it's, mean? It's kind of <laughs> country. Like makes you want to hop on a horse and go steal <clears throat> from a stagecoach? No, nah, more like, like more like Reho- stick Leonard up. Skinner country. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. So like Southern rock, yeah, yeah. outlaw rock. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that. Oh, I, I know I've suggested yeah. him before, but. Uh, Marcus King is somebody that Who? I really, really like. You should check out Marcus King. Who? Uh, he's got like a southern rock blues feel. Really, he's really black. fucking good. No, he's not. No, we won't check him out then. That's what? fair. <laughs> but it's not February. Come on. <laughs> Haven't you heard? We uh, moved it to October. Oh, Damn. I believe that. Month. It's a good month to have. February shortest month. Come on. Wow. I know. I know. Wow. I know. How Looks like horrible. we know where our priorities are. 
We didn't vote on that. Oh. We voted oh, no. on October. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. And today is actually Black History Day of Black History Month. Like the day that you're really supposed to lean into it. Huh? Hey. Huh? <laughs> okay. This is the weirdest sound I've ever heard. <laughs> You remember that commercial? You don't remember that commercial from back in the day? Oh, no. So good. Creditreport.com, baby. Okay, now I remember. Yay. <laughs> when they were dressed up like just like car. crabs. Pirates. Crabs. Oh, pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I like crabs. Bring out the dancing lobsters. Uh, yeah, the da- <laughs> yeah, I must have mixed that in my memory <laughs> somehow. Oh, that's funny. So it's uh, it's October, as we've mentioned. Have uh, how, how many times are we going to mention it? Jesus <laughs> goddamn have, um, we got have, so much content for you guys. Have any we, we're of talking you about a lot today. Big you know, news. The weather. It's um, October. <laughs> if you haven't uh, heard. Have you heard? Have you heard? It's have October. you checked your calendar recently? <laughs> we changed months. I'm just going <laughs> to wait until this blows over. And, and so what's your costumes going to be? So um, did you know it's October? I will get my Jack ass on a plane <laughs> and come up to Grand Rapids to smack your ass. You won't. He can't get any of us out there. We're not going. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> you know, that sucks because you guys would definitely have a blast. I would have. I would have something. A time. I would have a time. I would have time there. Yeah. A good time. We'll see. I guarantee it. I guarantee can fucking you it. That? I can, can you promise, promise that. Promise hookers and cocaine. I mean, if that's what you want. If that's and what it takes. Some? Do you want and hookers? And you won't re- ask questions repeat about grande? the then some. <laughs> I mean, if that's sure, what you want. I'm sure the coke there is awful. Listen, you I gotta, bet it is. You I gotta bet dip it your toes is. And give it, give every city a little taste, okay? That's how you do it. A little it. taste of Coke, a little. That's right. Taste of the people, the culture. That's right. Who has the best Coke then? Vegas? No. Miami? Florida. Yeah, for sure. Miami. Miami, oh. for sure. Miami got that good fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Miami, welcome to Miami. Miami. Yeah, they have the most uh, overdoses, actually. Oh, sure. Fentanyl's a real problem. Fentanyl is a real problem with cocaine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's everywhere, though. That makes me not want to do drugs. Yeah, it does scare me. I a know, bit. but how fun with the added risk. Yeah, you, you know? know? Like, I gotta be be sure where you're going to find good test strips and. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, you can test uh yeah, you can get test strips. Fairly cheap actually. Okay, but are you really gonna be like, yo guys, let's party, no wait, 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 test strips, y'all, test yeah. strips. You do it you would do you it rather die? You, get, yes. you do it when you get the drugs, not when you take it to the party, Jess. Well you how say, do you know hey, the drug dealer's I not at the party? This. Yeah. I you say, Hey, I tested this, this is good, and you can bring the test along and say it's good. Everybody have fucking fun tonight. Also, probably a good rule of thumb to not buy random drugs at parties. Yeah, right. Or okay. at shows. You heard it, heard it here first. Y'all. You heard it first. Yep. <laughs> Bring your own shit, y'all. Byod. Every time. Byod. That makes all the difference. Yeah. You can't be trusting some people. You know, people have some some bad intentions. Yeah. You never know. And some people are just know. ignorant, you know? They don't realize True. they're not testing their shit, so they don't realize that it's bad, you know? Mm-hmm. So. So, yeah. Protect yourself, you know? Just like in the UFC, protect yourself at all times. Protect your neck. Wear your cup. Yeah. I think all of that is to say, for my Halloween costume, I'm going to dress <laughs> in all white. And I'm going to have a big question mark on me, and people will guess, am I cocaine or am I fentanyl? Or are you <laughs> the airhead mystery flavor? 
Ooh. That could be my that could be my decoy if it's like you know I have to have family friendly. Oh, you something. could just be like a confused ghost. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! I love it. Well, that's fabulous. I don't know what I'm gonna go as. I haven't decided yet. What? You haven't no. been planning the last three months? What have you been doing? How have what you been spending you your doing summer? Your that's what summer's for. Plan for I fall. may no. may redo Wednesday Adams because that's what I was last year. No, you can't do two in a Love row. Love that. You can do whatever <laughs> no, you want. Not two days. In, no, not not two days in a row. You can do this. Cassandra said I could do it. Okay. Two days. Um. What about um, 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 um? Oh, I have a dress that has like bats and ghosts on it. I could just wear that and be like Queen of Halloween. You could. Yeah. You could just be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What was that laugh, Eric? What was that yeah, laugh? Yeah, Eric, what you... was that? Oh, my God. Eric. That's just funny to me. What's funny? At least add a witch's hat. You got to have a crown okay. of sorts. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You got to have something on top to be the Okay, queen. because, okay. Okay. If you All right. are only wearing okay. something with those patterns... It's the same as every middle school teacher who yeah. would always come in. Elementary school. I elementary like. school with the ghost earrings yeah. and yeah. the pumpkin sweatshirt. But it wasn't a costume, but it was all Halloween themed and a yeah. scarecrow. Yeah, this is I feel like it's, <laughs> it's a, a cop out for a costume. A teacher. Well, Eric, so what the fuck? Me. No, um... <laughs> Eric, you I don't know what to do then. Man. Okay, I so know. Don't talk about cop outs. Hey, it, that, I was a, all you hey, wore was six, a head to toe stocking. Eric also went as a white a guy, which is basically foot, as cop as you can get. I was a six foot tall, Milky white. twenty-one year old man trying to go trick or treating. I had to. That's true. Yeah, that's be, creepy, you guys bro. did get candy. Really, they gave it candy. to you. I, I couldn't see that like, I was I'm a man going. They're fucking. Oh. They're like, I was like, this isn't gonna work. Like, you guys have fun, and then they come back. And they're like, look at all the candy we got. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so I didn't even candy. have to say anything. That exactly. makes me so happy. Yeah, I trick or treated up until I was 18. I shit you not. Oh, I, think I trick or treated last... up until I was 21. Yeah, 22. <laughs> I 21. think the last time I yeah. went trick or treating, I was probably like. 15 at best yeah that's like the yeah. the good time to stop <laughs> yeah. i did not do that that's when you like show up in like a cloud mask and a chainsaw and you're like ah give me candy and they're like Whoa. <laughs> give oh, me the candy. <laughs> <laughs> i remember i uh just dressed as myself and said that i was a rock star and everybody was like okay <laughs> Cop out. Speaking yeah. of cop, cop outs. out, I was again. He also knew everyone. That They're was like, 15. okay, little Michael. Okay, that was fifteen. That's my yeah. rapper name. Said that. <laughs> little little Mike. <laughs> little Mikey. <No>. <laughs> little <laughs> Michael. <laughs> little Michael. <laughs> like little Bill. Remember that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little Bill. Uh, or little Richard. He didn't get uh, caught with rape allegations. <laughs> no, he was just. Uh, a little he was just a little dude. I don't know. You don't know what. You don't know. You know what them kids I always like. traded candy with my brother because he can't have peanut butter, so I would get all his Reese's and he I'd give him my Kit Kats. You lucky bitch. <gasps> Not the Kit Kats. I know, right? I no, give him it. the Hershey bars. Those give are him, dumb. Give him the no, Snickers, he, dude. No, he, it was like under one condition that he gets he gets the the Kit Kats. It was like that. Otherwise, oh god, you're too nice. I would have been like, no. And then I would have <laughs> stolen the fucking Reese's and been like, fuck you, dickhead. It was like super yeah. cool because all my candy was mine. Okay. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That actually, I, I get it. You gotta, you gotta cash in when you can, shit. Eric. We would pour <laughs> the shit out of our candy. Like, a few times was, you get it. There was no like, oh, there was no tradesies. It was straight up like, this is fucking mine. Don't fucking touch my shit. <laughs> Oh, I was well, I mean, he was trades. he's allergic to peanut butter. Like, you know, yeah, he different. was more than that's willing a, to give it to me. Yeah, that's a little different. My I don't think we had any like any 
things like that. The only thing I can think of is like my sister like coconut and I hate it. You know, I don't like coconut. So yeah. like almond joys and things like that. Yeah. I'd be like, these are yours. Give me something for those. But I'd usually get like her three musketeers. Which I it love was three the... musketeers, but Oh no, they're delicious. And and right. Snickers too. Worst Halloween yes. candy to get. Candy Twizzlers. Boy? Mary Dude, Jane's. No, I love candy Twizzlers. Corn. Um, candy corn this. does suck. The little no, like, candy uh, corn's great. The like candy, like peanut, like the elephant peanut. Oh yeah, like, those are god awful. Yeah. Like the like the, like the, the taffy, almost marshmallow. Like, but yeah, it's so gross. It's like peanut oh. butter. They gave those out. What? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. Sorry we um, didn't live in a rich neighborhood, Jess. <laughs> I don't like the sour candies or, like, hard candies. People giving out I really like the, the suckers. I liked those. Yeah. I liked Warheads, but I didn't like getting were... Warheads. For... Oh, I, yeah. loved, I, I loved, well, Warhead. I loved getting Warheads because I never got Warheads regularly. So it was, like, the only time mm-hmm. I got Warheads. And my brother and my sister didn't care for sour things that much, so I got a lot of sour. I didn't really oh, like the chocolate. Baby Ruths and like. Oh, Baby Ruths can suck. A yeah, dick. yeah. Joys, I wasn't really gross. hot on those. Yeah. I didn't like coconut. Mounds. Kids, like, yeah. Yeah. Great. Coconut's cool. I hate. It coconut. is now, but I hate it. back in the day, I was like, no, chocolate only. Did you ever get raisins? Yeah. Uh, raisinets. Totally cool with. No, no, no! Raisins, raisins. Oh, One time, just, I got like, a the toothbrush. Oh, yeah, if you yeah, get the apple, little boxes. a piece of fruit, oh, yep, yeah. the little box, yeah. uh-huh. give me an toothbrush. A- like, fuck you, give me I would an get apple, like bro. the little tattoos, you know, that you like press. That's on. cool. I yeah. like that. That's innovative. I hated it because I'm like, I'm a candy <coughs> bitch. Yeah. Or they'd be like, here's a here's a spider ring, and it's like I don't yeah. give a fuck about this shit. Or like a pencil that's like Halloween. Thing. Oh yeah. I'm like, okay, give that's me lame. chocolate. <laughs> Fucking lame, dude. Yeah. So bad. Give me candy. Like what? This isn't food. What the fuck what you the doing? Fuck? Who the fuck do you think you are? You're like, I'm gonna change the, I'm gonna break the mold with this one. Like, well, it's also, made sugar. It's whoever said Twizzlers trick is right or on. treat. No, I love Twizzlers. Love Twizzlers. No, fair enough, fair mine. Fair enough. Unless they're like but black no. licorice. If they're just like, <clears throat> I, I gotta have the red boys. Yeah. So you're like going through your Halloween game and you're like, oh, I hope I get Twizzlers. I mean, I'm not like, <laughs> it's Twizzlers. not like number one on my list, but like I get a couple Twizzlers. I'm like, cool, I got some fucking Twizzlers. Like, uh, those are always last. Gross. I'd give yeah. those away. No, I like Twizzlers. Ugh. Twizzlers are good. The best is Crunch Bars. Yeah. No. Kit Kats. I do like Kit Kats bars, are good too. But... Reese's. I like getting well, crunch bars, it's crunch bars and rare, or the cookies and cream Hershey's because it's such a yeah. rarity. Like that's not a candy yeah. wrap. Like all the other can- Kit Kats, Reese's, you're always grabbing that. For a yeah. <laughs> One time, I got a Symphony bar. What's that? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Like that's another Hershey's nice. chocolate bar, but when you open it, it sings. <laughs> it <laughs> sings. <laughs> it sings. John Williams it's starts like, playing. Like a bar that big. It's a pretty big Jesus. bar. That's actually pretty What is it, dope, almonds? Though. Well, they've got like different. I like the ones with uh, toffee. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. I don't mind Hershey's, however. Hershey's cookies and cream. That was Yeah, incredible. Hershey's cookies and cream is a Hershey's different. Hershey's and cream? Yeah. Delicious. That's different. That's like on a different level. Yeah. The little crunchies in it. Yum. Yeah. My gra- like my grandma would make like a Ziploc bag and just fill it with like little fun size candies and then there'd be like twenty bucks in it. What were the M mm. Ms called? With the not the pretzel, but the crunch. The M&Ms. crispy, crispy, crispy M&Ms. Yes, they're a sky blue color. We've had this conversation before. They're they're the best M M&M and M in history, in the history of M M&M. and M's. They're the best ones, oh. and you can never fucking find them anymore because of stupid cookies has taken over the cookie oh. ones and the pretzel ones. But no, nope, mm. both of them wrong. Crispy, and I don't even know they might be discontinued. And it just, I, I feel like you can find. <laughs> that's very, I feel like you can find bad. any M and M at like an airport. You can find any type of M M&M and M at an airport. Ah, uh, well, Crispy's though. Be an airport soon. And then you spend like Crispy's. I have not ten dollars on M and M's. 
Yeah. I have <laughs> Worth not it, found. Though. Now I'm not actively looking for M and M's, but I might start doing that now. Like grocery store, whenever I am out by candy, I'm gonna try and look for crispy M and M. And I don't know. I feel like the only <laughs> special ones you see are it's the dark green pretzel, right? It's purple. The pretzel is no. The caramel is purple. The pretzel is yes, green. And the peanut butter is like an orange red color. Yeah. Yeah. The cookies is like a light blue, but it's different than the crispy because they trick you. They fucking trick you, and they make it so they similar. Be that's not, that's what's not the, the same. What's the green one? That's the pretzel. Pretzel. Sorry. Hmm. What if it is the same, but you know how like. They companies re-brand. are using like lesser ingredients now right. so it's just it's remember fewer. when it was remember when it was only two you know how simple life was you just had your regular old m&ms and your peanut m&ms that was it <laughs> no diversity whatatsoever you know, it was black uh, and it was white may, and we maybe enjoyed we should, it maybe we should go back is all i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> look you never know things do come back Oreo O's were discontinued it's as true. a cereal, and they fucking made a comeback. And any Don't chance I get, I will get Oreo O's. I fucking love them because it was one of the cereals I could never get. Because no matter how sugary all cereals are, somewhat equally, <laughs> for some reason, like the cookie ones, Cookie Crisp, Oreo O's. My mom was like, "No, we can't have that. Get the Cheerios." And the Frosted Flakes. I'm frosted like, Flakes are pretty good. I was all only good. allowed to have... Cereal, but, um, Man, I could go of, for a bowl what's of the, Frosted Flakes uh, right now. Straight up. Could do, yeah, cereal. The wheat, wheat, no, not Wheaties. Wheaties the, is awful. No, Wheaties. not Wheaties. It's the one where it's grains, but they have frosting on one side of it. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, Frosted Mini Wheats? Yes. That's it. Yes. Mini I, mean, I never cared for them, but... That was yeah, the only one I was great. allowed to have. They're so fiery uh, and chewy. That sucks. Uh-huh. Oh, have you indulged in cereal then as an adult? Oh, absolutely. fucking okay, What's that your was... favorite cereal? Yeah. yeah. Of all time is yes. Honey Bunches of Oats with Almonds. Okay. That's, That's an my interesting all one. time favorite cereal. Okay, hold cereal. on. It's time out. So I need good. to know, what's your group? of cereal what's your top five because that's way too healthy of a choice cereal is about is sugar it? yes that's i like healthy but it's that's sugar like hang, on. hang on but i like honey thing. bunches her, of oats her trauma goes but back add... to frosted <laughs> <mini ones. laughs> so of course that's she true. likes the grainy style of what do you like cereal. raisin bran is that the next I one i do like raisin list? bran i, I truly do and total like... okay you even like the good ones? What about Fruity Pebbles, huh? What about eh. Reese's Puffs, Cocoa Puffs? Mm. Yeah, I like those, What about those, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Go-to. Boo. But yeah, I, I love it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I also like real? Golden Grams. Honeycombs. Golden Grams are dope. Smacks. That's a throwback. No, no Smacks. Those are good. I love Smacks. Pops were good. I used to eat Pops, Pops all the time. so good. Pops are good yeah. if you get sugar all over that bitch. No, they're good. No, right. I would eat they're it straight. They're sugar. Not enough. Rice Krispie hmm. Treats, the clumps. Like, no, oh, I would just make sugar. the cereal. Oh, was, oh, crap. What is that? Smackle and Pop? Rice Smackle and Pop? Yeah. Yeah. Smack, yeah. Crackle, what is it? Pop. Snap, that's it. Snap, Crackle, and Snap, Pop. Crackle yeah, and Pop. Yeah. Rice Krispies? Yeah, like, that was my favorite part of it. The bars? Treats? No, the Rice cereal. Yes. Rice Krispie Treats are bars. But, like, it, it was a cereal <coughs> form. So they had, like, chunks. It was, like, so Rice Krispies weren't covered in sugar. They were just the rice. But the Rice Krispie treats, they had clumps of it, but also it was all like kind of covered in sugar, kind of like corn pops, kind of like a glaze. And they had little chunks in it, and it was called Rice Krispie Treats cereal. So oh. it was so good because of all the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. More but, of course, strong. you had your own sugar still. Do you remember Can't French it, Toast Crunch? Yes! Yeah, oh my actually, God. they do. So, so fucking good. That's a throwback. That was I like actually what they think that was Saturday my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one for sure. Reese's Puffs will always be number one. Reese's Puffs, Oreo Reese's O's. Puffs, Reese's Also, Puffs. Fruity Pebbles just always has a place in my heart. Fruity Pebbles. See, I, I really like peanut butter, so I prefer like... Captain Crunch peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Oh, I Reese's. love Captain yeah. Crunch, except Captain, it fucks up Captain my mouth. Crunch! Fucking cuts yes. the roof of my mouth. I know, oh. but the all berries. The peanut butter Captain Crunch. Oops, all berries. So good. 
but yet I miss the original still when I eat it. I'm like, oh, but what about the shitty pieces? <laughs> <laughs> what about Lucky Charms? Yes. Hearts, also, stars, clovers. Marshmallows over the shitty pieces, but you gotta have both. Yeah. <laughs> like Lucky Charms, let's be real. The little grainy pieces, they sucked. Do you guys remember awful. the point Hard where they well, like yeah. started adding barely any marshmallows to Lucky Charms? Yes, and then then there were riots in the streets at General Mills. <laughs> yeah. Tricks? How dare you? Tricks is good. Tricks is good. Tricks but is they changed. Kids. Now they're all just <laughs> puffs. Balls. They're just puffs. Yeah. They used to be shapes. They used remember when they added Ooh. the new shape? Yeah. When they like came out with the new shape, and I you do... got to like vote on it. And I do love uh, some Fruit Loops. Fruit oh, Loops. Fruit Loops. I fuck with Fruit Loops. That's oh. that's like my second favorite right it's there. Up there. It's up there for me. For I... sure. That's my second favorite. Oh my god, Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops are so. And good. I also Loops really used to love Apple Jacks too. Oh, I still Jacks. love Apple Jacks. But it's basically Jacks like the same great. thing as Fruit Loops, but with cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, I totally. Apple Dude, Jacks. Dude, the milk. At, yeah. You drinking the milk after yes. Apple Jacks? So fucking fire! I don't Every drink time. the milk. So the apple You're a cinnamon. monster. It's the best part. <laughs> no, it's, it's absolutely the best. It part is of cereal. disgusting. Absolutely that is the, the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. No, you're <laughs> out of your fucking mind. No way. It's oh, so no like God. refreshing. You might as well no. put water on your fucking shit, Jess. <laughs> Put water in that damn shit. <laughs> All of the Cheerios flavors, they're apple cinnamon. Yeah. Cheerios make bangers. Cheerios has a good pumpkin spice one. Oh. They, they have good flavors. Honey Nut Cheerios, Cheerios are the, like, you can't go wrong. Staple. Classic. Yeah. yeah. Like, like they're, Classic. I'm not saying they're number one, but, like, they got to be within a top five, in my opinion. They're the perfect it's, it's balance. Mr. Of reliable. Taste good yeah. and healthy. Yeah. That's right. And I think it helps lower your, your cholesterol. Yeah, oh, it yeah, tells you that it's on the box. Your heart. There you go. But you'll still get diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. Which is diabetes. nothing about diabetes. <laughs> Even without the diabetes. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, I unfortunately don't have enough cereal in my life. I just have it whenever I'm feeling it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't get it often. I mean, it's yeah. really awful for you. But, yeah. And I also feel like shit every time I eat it. That's, yeah. For Eric, yeah. that makes sense. I buy lactose it's for also milk. Like stupid but... expensive oh, for, like, not much cereal. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not, like, eating cereal all the time, so I'm not just always buying. Yeah, but right. you know what? Right. Honey Bunches of Oats have, like, different sizes. They've got, like, the mega size, the family yeah. size, the plus size. I actually size. do, like, Honey Bunches like, of Oats. <laughs> it's but... hilarious. I add more honey. You add more honey to your honey bunches of oats? Yeah. Nice. This is our child sized drink. It's because it's 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 about the the size of a small child. Honey milk. Oh, so No. Delish. Add some coffee in there. Oh, no, seriously. That's like making me sick (laughs) to think about. Well, cereal latte. That's like an all in one breakfast. (laughs) You get your cereal, you you get your coffee, you get your latte. Right. All in one, baby. But how do we all feel about one. breakfast bars? Uh, I'll honestly eat whatever. Like cereal yeah. bars? Cereal bars. Like actual cereal bars I don't like. Not very good. Like but the ones like, that have the actual cereal? Yeah, like the actual cereal. Like cinnamon toast mm-hmm. crunch bar? Yeah, yeah, like those. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're gross. Don't like those. But, but like I, cereal granola bars, I'm for. I'm against all of it. Why? Yeah, I'm just kind of against you know. cereal bars. Like that makes me uncomfortable. I mean, I just—they're not good. They're, they're not enticing. Good. They're as not. Fuck. Yeah. But then you try them, and you're like, "This is actually not great." Wait, yeah. are we talking about like the actual cereal bars? Yeah. What other cereal bars are there? How else can I explain this? Are you well, like granola they... bars? Yeah, they call granola bars cereal bars. Oh, no, they call them granola do they? bars. Some. Yep, well, some what are you places. talking about? Like a Cliff Bar? Are you sure about that? Like yeah. a Nature Valley? Yeah. No, Eric, they don't call them that. Like granola call, bars. Oh, granola oats. They're called granola bars. Yeah, they're not called. Because they're made of granola. 
No, Look, we're Aaron. talking about cereal actual cereal, branded no. cereal. They got the Reese's Puffs bar, okay? Yeah, I know. I know really? what you're talking Ew. about. They have them all? They actually don't have them all. Let's see what they got. I do remember Cocoa Puffs having one. And I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> they have Cheerios, Lucky Charms, Golden Grams was a good one. Actually, the Golden Grams one, I take it back. That one's really good because it's like s'mores. So fucking good. Oh, okay. Also, Golden Grams is pretty legit. I'll take it over Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Golden, I'll say that. Golden uh, Grams is number three. Fruit Loops, Crunch Berries, Tricks, Fruity Pebbles, and then Reese's Puffs. I just want a bowl of crunch. cereal. I don't want to eat it in a bar. I'm I with just you. want a bowl of cereal. I'm I'll with eat. you. I don't want to eat you. it in a bar either. Because then they try and have like, in the my milk car. be the underground yeah. frosty. Oh, gross, and that's like dude. the milk with it. Gross. Yeah, gross. I don't like it's that. Gross. It's not great. One bit. It's not great. Not great at all. I'd rather yeah. eat the cereal. Guys, uh, have, did you watch the new episode of Great British Baking Show? No. No. Oh, Is it on Netflix? Yeah. Is uh, it really? Uh, shit? Yeah, it started last week. Check it out. It okay, was well, I'm a fun one. To. Also, a new What they host. have to make? New host. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Noel's still there, but... Uh, oh, good. Matt, was his name correct? Yeah, yeah Matt is no longer on With the program. Uh, cancer got him. Uh, just how it goes. No. Shut up. Would they, they cook, have Michael? a thick accent. Oh, it was, it was cake. I don't I, I don't think Cake Week should be the first week. Why? Cake Week is so easy. That's why people are there. Right. But you have twelve contest contestants. Yeah, it's kinda like if you can't do cake, then cake. you can, you gotta get out of here. My argument is the showstoppers are kinda not that good because I feel like a lot of them get a lot better as the time goes on. And I feel like cake huh. show sto- showstoppers could be really good if they held off just a little bit. Like, do it, like, midway through. I mean, I get it, but, Michael, like, that's why a lot of people are there because of their cake skills. Like, cake is universal. It's so unbelievably easy. Like, that. Well, that's why bread week is, like, the fifth week because bread is fucking hard. Like, you can't just start off with bread. Why? Why not? Okay, so start off with like, yeah, do like patisserie. Do like a patisserie week. Patisserie is so difficult. So yeah. 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 Weed them out early. It. No, you got to keep leveling up. You don't. Yeah. Look, you can't, you have to come in and you slowly heighten. You don't come off with the fucking last fucking thing. No. I'm just saying. It cake, won't work. Cake number one is, I think it's too soon for cake because everybody wants to see cake in you know what I mean? Everybody likes cake. Everybody wants to see the cake. I know, but it's so it's easy to work with, and it's easy to see where everyone's skills level, where everyone's skill. Yeah. 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 I guess I'll have to watch it. Well, while really? we're on the topic it's of fun. cereals and baking, I have the recipe for the best Rice Krispie treats. Oh. It's super you. easy to remember have to send it to me Stat. it's one one three two one one cup one, of butter three two one one cup of marshmallows three cups rice krispies two cups cocoa krispies and one cup cinnamon toast crunch the taste you, you can lost see. me at the end wait butter and what else marshmallow butter marshmallow, marshmallow. you could swap out cinnamon toast crunch for what if I just want Rice Krispies? Why don't we just make scotch a ruse, dude? <laughs> Those scotch are fucking hard. They're so much better. They're hard. But they're so much These better. These are way easier. But they're better. I would I would substitute the Cinnamon Toast Crunch for Fruity Pebbles, and I'm in. And I'm in. I could be done with that. Yeah, that I could, could be good. That. All right, well. It's fruits. settled then. It's settled. <laughs> when we see each other, we'll have Rice Krispie Treats, and we'll also do, we'll do hot ones. 
Yes. We're doing a hot one yes. for sure. Yes. And then after, we'll enjoy our Rice Krispie treats. Mm-hmm. Yes. To That's cool right. down our mouth. Well, we won't taste holes. them at all. I don't know. We'll cool see. down our buttholes more like. Well, that's not. We're just going to need ice cubes for that, I think. Just sit on a block of ice afterward. Okay. Like, yeah, you we got to chug so, milk for that. Yeah. <laughs> not for Eric. Eric will just have <laughs> immediate diarrhea. <laughs> Actually, probably. <laughs> all right, Eric, don't worry. We'll do it next to a toilet. You can do be on the toilet when we do yeah, it. Just be on the toilet, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be in there with you when you do it, but, you know. But like, Eric, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Chug that milk. And then, but we'll have the camera just, in like. In the middle of chugging. His- <laughs> so it's also, like, a hot ones challenge and a gallon jug, milk jug challenge. Oh, double up on Ooh, it. No, double up. can't you die from no. that? Yeah, this is fentanyl all over again. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I've taken fentanyl. Oh, don't say that. Straight through an IV. Oh, whoa. Well, here you are. Hardcore. I took morphine once. Terminator, though? Like half robot? I drink whiskey sometimes. At a hospital, Jess. I didn't volunteer. It was was like needed. I was also at a hospital, but I also told them no, and they still gave it to me. (laughs) What the fuck? What a bunch of dickheads. That is yeah, so honestly, wrong. That, that actually is fucked up. You should sue them. I got get a great that money. lawyer recommendation for you. All right, well, give me them digits. His, his name is Saul Goodman. <laughs> I could go. use a good payday. His name is Barry. Barry McCockiner. His name is Nice Saul. Saul Goodman. It's all good, man. It's, God, it's so hot in here. It's all good, man. Or so good. Robert Paulson. Ooh. His name was Robert Paulson. Ugh. Yes. Good times. Mm, speaking of time. <laughs> time after time. I can't find it. If I could turn back time. If I could find. Okay. <laughs> I was letting you, uh, you know, clear the air out there. Um, Thank you. Let's uh, do some final thoughts. And I think we should start with Cassandra this week. All right, y'all. Cassandra. Uh, hey. Hi. Just a lot of mush brain lately. Mush brain. So if you're feeling that. You know, the the weather's changing, season's changing, or maybe the weather's not changing. I don't know. I don't know. But seasons are a-changing, and change is a-coming. Times they are a-changing. Yeah. I would just say, uh, hold on, because it's (laughs) not going to stop. So don't think it's going to slow down. You just got to adapt, all right? You got to adapt. You got to just go with the flow. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all, folks. All right. Also, happy October, because if you didn't know, it's October now. So, uh, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna pass it off to Jess. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's me, Jess. Um, so as we've mentioned, or maybe you haven't heard, it's October. And, um, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the, the spookiest time of year. So I just wanted to, um, urge you or encourage you to do something that scares you, you know, even if it means seeing a scary movie or something, you know, just do something um, that you normally wouldn't do and that freaks you out because, you know, uh, uh, a good scare is part of a good life. So do something ah! that scares you. Yes. Um, That's just a and, little taste. And, uh, and enjoy the spooky season. Over to you, Eric. Um, I cannot express how excited I am that it's finally October. 
<laughs> I think you could do a little better. <clears throat> it's October, if you haven't heard. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely spooky season, fall time. Best time of the year, in my opinion. You got your pumpkin spice. Mm-hmm. You got your apple spice. You got your apples. You got pumpkin and sweet potato pie. Absolutely. A lot of food. You got... You got your donuts, you got your hot cider. <laughs> Plus you got Halloween. It's gonna yeah, be a legend. It's a great time of year. It's October. Michael. Okay. It, it certainly is October. <laughs> and uh, we've been, uh, I've been looking forward to October for a while and, uh, Tomorrow, I'm going to see a band I've been very excited to see for a very long time. So uh, that's why I've been looking forward to October. After that, you know, it's spooks and scares and movies, and that's fun. So enjoy the fall uh, holiday and enjoy just the weather changing because it is like the nicest time for real. Just some jeans and a shirt. It's nice. So. <laughs> Xander, hit him with it. All right, y'all. Just one last time because I just want to make sure that y'all know that it's October. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's October. And don't forget, okay? You got to subscribe. You got to like our stuff. Comment on it. Okay? Share it with your friends. Share it with your enemies. Share it with strangers. Who gives a shit? All right? Just share it. That's all we care about. Okay? And send us an email if you want. The Sundays podcast at gmail.com is where you'll find us. Or slide into the DMs on the socials, the Sundays podcast. That's where you'll find us there. All right. So, are we having fun yet? We are. Because guess what? It's October, y'all. So, let's fucking go. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Bye. See you next week. October.